Ladies and gentlemen, history reveals that in the Middle Ages, soldiers in the field often didn't know or recognize their commanders. Seeing this problem, the Continental Army of the United States conducted the first official change of command ceremony. Just as it has in the past, the formal change of command allows troops to witness the actual transfer of command between two officers and to see their new commander firsthand. The change of command also adds color and pageantry to military life, preserves tradition, and stimulates esprit de corps. La storia narra come in epoca medievale i soldati spesso non fossero in grado di riconoscere o di individuare il loro comandante nei campi di battaglia. Per questo motivo l'esercito americano decise di condurre la prima cerimonia ufficiale di cambio del comando. Proprio come in passato, il formale cambio di comando permette alle truppe di testimoniare l'effettivo passaggio di consegne tra, le due, tra i due ufficiali e di conoscere personalmente il proprio comandante. Inoltre, la cerimonia dà colore e solennità alla vita militare, mantiene viva la tradizione e incoraggia lo spirito di corpo. Today, Major General Barry R. Seguin will relinquish command from the 31st Fighter Wing to Brigadier General Lance K. Landrum. Oggi, il generale di divisione aerea Barry R. Seguin cederà il comando al generale di brigata aerea Lance K. Landrum, che assumerà il comando del 31 Fighter Wing. We would like to take a moment to introduce distinguished visitors in attendance today. Please hold your applause until all guests have been announced. Un, par un particolare benvenuto ai nostri distinti ospiti, che saluteremo con un unico applauso finale. Nancy Seguin, wife of Major General Seguin, their daughters Marie and Sonia, and son Barry. Karen Landrum, wife of Brigadier General Landrum, their sons Logan, Lucas, and Lincoln. Chief Master Sergeant Caleb Wright, 3rd Air Force and 17th Air Expeditionary Air Force Command Chief. Ms. Kelly Degnan, Deputy Chief of Mission, United States Embassy, Rome. Mr. Christopher Jesser, Political and Economic Affairs Counselor. Mr. Ethan Glick, United States Air Forces Europe, and Air Forces Africa Foreign Policy and Political Advisor. Tiffany Lusson, wife of Chief Master Sergeant Matthew Lusson, Command Chief, 31st Fighter Wing, their daughter, Kayla, and son, Zachary. Amy Hollis, wife of Colonel Craig Hollis, Commander, 31st Operations Group. Dottoressa Maria Rosaria Laganà, prefetto di Pordenone. Ingegner Sandrino della Puppa, vice sindaco del comune di Aviano. Ingegner Claudio Pedrotti, presidente, provincia di Pordenone. Dottor Sergio Bolzonello, vicepresidente, regioni Friuli, Venezia e Giulia. Generale di squadra aerea Maurizio Lovvisotti, comandante della squadra aerea. Dottor Marco Martani, procuratore del Tribunale di Pordenone. Dottor Diego Buso, questore di Pordenone. Gener Generale di Bigata Vincenzo Procacci, comandante Legione Carabinieri Friuli Venezia Giulia. Generale di Bigata Michele Risi, comandante Brigata Alpina Giulia. Generale di Bigata Antonello Vespaziani, Comandante Brigata Corazzata Ariete. Colonnello Stefano Gianfrocca, Comandante Aeroporto Pagliano e Gori. We would also like to welcome all other Italian distinguished visitors, commanders, deputy commanders, squadron commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, friends and family, and the men and women of the 31st Fighter Wing. Signore e signore, la cerimonia ha ora inizio.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of ruffles and flourishes. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the advancement of the colors and the singing of the national anthems. Fratelli d'Italia, l'Italia se desta, delle mondi cipio se cinta la testa, dove la vittoria le porga la chioma che schiava di Roma e Dio la creo. Fratelli d'Italia, l'Italia si desta, fratelli d'Italia, l'Italia si desta, delle modici più se cinta la testa, dove la vittoria le porga la chioma, che schiava di Roma e Dio la creò. Tringiamoci a corte, sin pronte alla morte, sin pronte alla morte, Italia chiamò. Stringiamoci a corte, sin pronte alla morte, sin pronte alla morte, Italia chiamò, sì. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the
Thank you, Senior Airman Anderson. Chaplain Monagle, the 31st Fighter Wing Chaplain, will now give the invocation. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, as we gather here today, we come here to thank you for two great blessings. First, the blessing and legacy of Major General Seguin's leadership as the commander of the 31st Fighter Wing. He has truly been a servant leader, a leader who cared for his airmen, a leader who took time to mentor, form, and inspire his airmen to excel. His leadership will never be forgotten. We thank you for the gift of his family, Nancy, Marie, Sonia, and Barry, who have been our family as well. We know, Lord, that they have truly strengthened Major General Seguin and all of Team Aviano. We ask you now to bless them as they go forth from here to bigger and better things with much happiness and even more success. Secondly, Lord, we thank you for the blessing of Brigadier General Landrum, who will now lead the 31st Fighter Wing and the next generation, the next glorious chapter of our history. May you bless him with strength, wisdom, courage, and humility to be the best leader possible by always having a servant's heart. May he know that he is never alone, that you are always by his side, and that he is his wife, Karen, sons, Logan, Lucas, and Lincoln, and all of Team Aviano always behind him. Together, Lord, with your help, we will never fail. Lord, bless the Landrum family as they now become the first family of our wing. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our Italian host nation. May you continue to bless our friendship and partnership as we do, as we seek to do your will and make our world a better and safer place. Lord, we ask you to bless this ceremony now and our future together. In your holy name, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Monagle. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It is my honor to welcome Lieutenant General Timothy M. Ray, Commander, 3rd Air Force, and 17th Expeditionary Air Force, Ramstein Air Base, Germany. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor and a privilege to be here to close out the chapter of one great leader and his family and to start the chapter for another great leader and his family. But before I begin, I'd like to say welcome to a few special people. Prefect Lagana, uh, thank you so much for, for being here with us. Uh, General Ludovici, thank you so much as well for your, your company today. It's good to get to meet you and to, and to visit. Uh, to Stefano, thank you so much for your tremendous support. You and your Italian brethren here make it just so easy to operate. It's a great partnership, and from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for all the support. To the families, uh, boy, here we go. It's, it's a sad time for you, I know, Nancy. Uh, I know Barry just didn't want to leave. He kept trying to stumble over the idea that he had to actually relinquish the command. But uh, to you, Marie, Sonia, Barry, another chapter uh, is coming here very soon, and I hope to get to spend some more time with you at Stuttgart. Karen and the boys, Logan, Lincoln, Luke, welcome back. Uh, I think you guys remember this place, right? I think the, the older ones do, but it's good to have you back here with us. Uh, for other civic leaders that are here with us today from the local community, thank you. To uh, the men and women of the 31st Fighter Wing, Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for all that you do every day to make us successful. I sincerely appreciate it. Well, I have a confession to make. I just came back from Corona in the States, and it was an overseas flight, so I have about an hour of sleep. So, uh, but, uh, but there at Corona, I had the chance to brag. Uh, one of the things that we had to do was to talk about our organization, and I got a chance to brag about the 75-year-old 3rd Air Force and the 30,000 airmen that are in it. 
And I convinced everybody that I, as the third Air Force commander, had the best job in the United States Air Force. I firmly believe that I do. I'm very, very lucky for that. And one of the reasons why I got to say that was, I look at the scope of what we do here every day in New Af Africa, from nuclear deterrence to building partnership capacity in Africa, from flying ISR missions to fight terrorists on the continent of Africa, to flying strategic reconnaissance in the Baltics, in the Black Sea, in the Eastern Med, flying strike sorties against enemies both in Syria and Iraq and Libya. It's an absolute honor to watch the tremendous performance every day. And I got the chance to sum it all up by saying, as you have all heard, ready forward now. And it's a perfect moniker for who we are. And as I reflect on that, I know absolutely at the heart of that is the 31st Fighter Wing. An absolutely brilliant performance over these past two years heat. It's been eye-watering. The best nuclear surety inspection grade in years. And as you know, when you think about what we've been through as an Air Force in that particular arena, is very, very welcome news, and it takes a great deal of leadership. Uh, the Air Force Outstanding Unit Award. Now, Barry Seguin would like to tell you he had something to do with that, but I know, and I think quietly he would confess, that had everything to do with the great airmen here in this room. But he certainly set the environment for that. I know of no other leader who's worked so hard to create a leadership environment to actually spend the very formal time coaching, teaching, and training and leaving a legacy of leaders has been fantastic. And of course, to cap it all off, in the time of need, I gave Barry and the 31st about six days notice to be in, in Turkey to fly strike missions, a capability that normally we give about six months of prep, three months of very intense training, and he did it with this team in six days. Six F-16s, 200,000 or 200 uh, short tons of cargo, a couple hundred people. And the performance, ladies and gentlemen, was eye-watering. Absolutely brilliant work. Highlighting the fact that the capability here in Europe that's ready right now can react while the rest of the force closes. It was superb. So I just want to say thank you for that. So Nancy and the kids, it's going to be a sad goodbye. But uh, you've had a great ride, and I look forward to great things out of, out of this team. And the next step is he becomes the J-5 at AFRICOM, a place that needs his kind of leadership and vision. But I don't leave you in the hilt. We bring you another great leader. Spike Landrum is no stranger to this community or to this base. As you, many of you know, he's an F-16 expert, uh, a weapons instructor course instructor himself. So the best of the best go there to instruct. And we're proud to have him here. He was uh, part of the uh, plans section here in the wing. It gave him tremendous insight as to how you do things in this new dynamic of the nuclear role, the dual role of this wing. He was the, the DO for the triple nickel and then took the buzzards. And so I'm sure he's very proud to be able to come back of all the F-16 wings, come back and command the wing with his, with his squadron. And once you've commanded a squadron, it's always special to you, right, Spike? It's special. Um, but he's also led in combat at the operations group level. And he's been a wing commander at Hill, which is a very dynamic and complex environment. He's been an all-star on the staff. And so he's here to take the flag from, from Heat Seguin. And I'm absolutely convinced he's going to do a brilliant job. So to Karen and the boys, we say welcome. We are glad to have you guys here. I hope you enjoy the time. Trust me, it won't last. So enjoy every single minute of it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, General Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the medal presentation. Citation to accompany the award of the Legion of Merit to Barry R. Seguin. Major General Barry R. Seguin distinguished himself by exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service to the United States in various positions culminating as Commander, 31st Fighter Wing, Aviano Air Base, Italy, from 2 March 2013 to 10 June 2016. 
During his time, his leadership, exemplary foresight, and ceaseless efforts positively motivated 3,800 American and Italian civilians in four groups, 19 squadrons, 16 wing staff agencies, to their successful execution of the 31st Fighter Wing's mission. Leading the Department of Defense's most inspected unit, his emphasis on mission and airmen inspired the wing to its best performance with the highest possible rating during the 2015 nuclear surety inspection. Many of the wing's successes can be traced through the unit effectiveness inspection, three flying training deployments, six local surety inspections, and the command cyber readiness inspection. Always pursuing excellence, General Seguin shaped the culture of compliant maintenance, focused on generating aircraft at a moment's notice. His forward thinking drove the 31st Maintenance Group to meet 10 of 10 monthly metrics for only the second time Air Force-wide in the past eight years, and led the highest mission-capable rate for all Air Force F-16 fighter wings. Finally, General Seguin's direction was essential to the rapid deployment of six F-16s, 211 airmen, and 197 short tons in six days, supporting operations' inherent resolve. The superior initiative, outstanding leadership, and personal endeavor displayed by General Seguin reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Thank you, General Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 31st Fighter Wing, Major General Barry R. Seguin. Thank you, Captain Zentz. Thank you, Lieutenant Ger General Ray, for flying direct from the United States to Venice to be here to officiate this ceremony today. Thank you to Ms. Degnan, Mr. Jester, Mr. Glick, and Chief Wright for the great effort that you made to be with us as well. Prefect Lagana, Engineer Della Pupa, Dr. Bedrotti, good to see you again, sir, uh, Bolsonaro, Generale Lodovisi, uh, and Colonel Chanfroca. Grazie, and I see other friends, the Questore Generales, grazie. Thank you all for being with us today, and Benvenuti. A special welcome to all other military representatives, as well as the presidents of associations, honorary commanders, and the many Italian friends present. Benvenuti. That's it for my Italian, by the way, you know. Last but certainly not least, welcome Team Aviano, airmen and families. Chaplain Monagle, thank you for gracing us with your inspirational words. Senior Airman Anderson, what a rousing rendition of both Italian and U.S. national anthems. Let's give her a big round of applause. And of course, a very special thanks for all those who put this ceremony together, led by Major Jason Caranta, good Italian name, uh, hiding over there in the back, uh, and the team that he put together. These ceremonies are certainly no small feat, and it really takes the professionalism and focus on purpose of our airmen to bring them together. So a job very well done. Thank you, Jason. Now, typically the outgoing commander is allowed to speak a little bit longer than the incoming commander. <laughs> However, at the pre-reception, Nancy sized up Lieutenant General Ray, Brigadier General Landrum, and myself. She pulled me aside and informed me, honey, once again, you're going to be the shortest person on the stage. So I asked her, what's your point? You know I'm short. You've been married to me for 25 years. She said, yes, I know, you're short. I'm just reminding you to keep your speech that way. 
but it is really hard to do so when you're leaving the premier go-to fighter wing in our United States Air Force. What an incredible team and family. Nancy, the kids and I are, have truly enjoyed being a part of the community alongside our great friends and incredibly supportive Italian hosts. It's impossible to appropriately thank our gracious Italian friends and hosts. From those we've known for so many years, Gigi and Gabriella, Enzo and Ciccio, I see you back there, as well as the too numerous to name friends that we've made lifelong over the net last two years. Well, this has always been Nancy's favorite place on earth, it has become mine as well. And we will miss every bit of it, from our favorite Viganovo Bottega, to Castel Brando, Prosecco Wine Country, to time with the Honorary Squadron Commander Association in the Alpini, long Italian dinners with community leaders, and even Taco Bell luncheons. Poor Nancy, though, I put her through quite an emotional roller coaster with our tours to Aviano. As you might recall, when we first arrived, I told the story of when we last left Aviano. Nancy boarded the airplane and cried, in fact, wailed for seven hours all the way to New York City. Well, this time I'm not going to have to listen to that for seven hours because we're going to be, thank goodness, in separate vehicles. And so she's going to have to do it in solitude and or over the cell phone as we drive the seven hours north to Stuttgart. Nance, I can't thank you enough, not only for what you do for our family and for me, but the selfless service to all of our airmen and our families. I admire and love you for your compassion and countless sacrifices. This wouldn't be the ama amazing romantic adventure we call our United States Air Force without you, and I look forward to our next chapter together in Germany. Timing has never really been my strong suit. Not only does Nancy have to say goodbye to Aviano for a second time, this summer will also be goodbye to our oldest kiddo, Marie, as she heads to college all the way to California. She entered our life during our first assignment here at Aviano, and now she will leave it. That is, until we have to pay the first tuition bills. It has meant the world to Nancy and me to have our three children with us to experience Aviano for the second time. Marie, Sonia, and Barry, thank you for your patience most of the time. Support an adventurous spirit, especially over these past two years, and your many sacrifices. Standing before you is a proud papa. I love you, kiddos, and as a token of my love and appreciation, I have some flowers for Nancy, Marie, and Sonia. And Barry, I have a small gift for you at the end of the ceremony. General Ray, thank you for the, your example of servant leadership. Your leadership in the humble receipt of your mentorship inspires Nancy and I to continue to serve. We especially thank you for your confidence in our Wyvern Airmen to answer our nations and your call. Forward, ready, now. Thank you for your trust, faith, and confidence that you placed in Team Aviano. Airmen and families of Team Aviano, I shared how proud, honored, and humbled I was to stand before you as your new wing commander two years ago. After these past two years, I truly can't find adequate descriptors of your many and great accomplishments. Many were recounted during the reading of the recent citation. I stand before you now with even greater humility and thankfulness for your professionalism, focus on purpose, and pride. At my promotion, I spoke about the reasons that I continue to serve. You are why I continue to serve. 
You inspire me each and every day. The Legion of Merit citation stated, I motivated 3,800 airmen. Truth be told, you, 3,800 airmen, motivated me. Our Aviano leadership team, commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, thank you for mentoring and empowering our Wyvern warriors to be innovative and professional airmen. You are America's finest, our premier airmen and warriors, and you have answered our nation's call to deter aggression, defend U.S. and NATO interests, and develop Aviano. Colonel Sean Froca and our Italian partners, it has been my tremendous honor to serve alongside you. I thank you for your support and more importantly, your friendship. Over the last 61 years of permanent United States Air Force presence here at Aviano Air Base. And to our Italian employees, thanks for the continuity you provide and your valued contributions to team. You enrich the 31st Fighter Wing with your significant contributions. Caring for Team Aviano and families ultimately fuels our Wyvern resiliency and makes Team Aviano exceptional. Families, you have sacrificed much in the service to our great nation. Thank you for your service and for supporting your uniformed and civilian members as they accomplished Team Aviano's mission. Spike, before you, you are blessed with the best our nation has to offer. Airmen warriors who live and breathe our mission. But just as General Landrum is receiving a world-class team, you too, Team Aviano, are equally blessed to receive an exceptional commander. I've known General Landrum for as long as I've known anybody in our active duty Air Force. From our first fighter squadron together, the fiends in Korea, Harumph, to weapons school classmates. There is no better team in our United States Air Force to lead Team Aviano than Team Landrum. While leaving Aviano is certainly bittersweet, the sweet part is knowing the Landrums have joined the team. Karen, Logan, Lucas, and Lincoln, I'm sure you'll find Aviano to be the same great experience we did with the greatest of memories. Welcome back to your home where you will be surrounded by a great family and community. Enjoy it. I can attest it goes by far too quickly. Wyverns, you make me extremely proud every day to be a part of our great Air Force. In closing, I quote from the greatest entertainer of all time, Elvis Presley. Rhythm is something you either have or you don't have. But when you have it, you have it all over. Wyvern Warriors, you have it all over. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication to deter, defend, and develop. Godspeed. Grazie de cuore. Thank you. Thank you, General Seguin. The men and women of the 31st Fighter Wing appreciate your dedication and sacrifice to our great nation. We respect and admire your servant leadership and would like to honor you with a final salute as Wyvern One.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the change of command. Attention to orders, Department of the Air Force, Headquarters, 3rd Air Force, Ramstein Air Base, Germany, Special Order Number GA-16-01, Brigadier General Lance K. Landrum, by direction of the President, is appointed Commander of the 31st Fighter Wing, effective 10 June 2016, signed Timothy M. Ray, Lieutenant General, United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the commander, 31st Fighter Wing, Brigadier General Lance K. Landrum. Well, thank you, thank you very much. And General Ray, I want to start with thanking you for rearranging your schedule and making the long trip over the ocean. I also want to thank you and General Gordons for the trust and the confidence that you have placed in me with this responsibility. And it is obviously a big responsibility. I also want to thank all of our dignitaries in the audience, Prefect Lagana, Tutti Generali Italiani, grazie. E Colonello Gianfranca, grazie. I appreciate all the hard work of all the team that put this together. We all know that this is an extremely difficult in, endeavor to put together, and I know that there was a lot of hard work behind the scenes. And so for the entire team that put that together, thank you very, very much from the bottom of our hearts. Major General Seguin, thank you, sir. It's been a long road to since 1995, and it's been great getting here, and it's even better being with you up here on the stage. Karen and I extend our gratitude to you and to Nancy, your entire family, for welcoming us into this awesome, awesome wing. Thank you very much for making it such a smooth transition for us. I would also like to thank my family. They have been with me the entire time in my Air Force. And Karen, you have been a rock, you have been a stalwart, and you have been there for the entire family this, in, in this journey. And so with the flowers, this is a very, very small token of my appreciation, and it's a small token of the sacrifice that you put forward. Logan, Lucas, and Lincoln, thank you for traveling the world with us. Thank you for your positive attitudes and your can-do attitudes as we have gone back and forth to Europe now three times with all of you. And I know that you're excited to be here, and we are truly, truly happy to be here as an entire family. A tutti i miei amici italiani, grazie per i rivolato benvenuto nel vostro bellissimo paese. Io e la mia famiglia siamo felici di tornare a Diaviano Dopo ben sette anni, troppi, troppi. Qualche settimana fa ho chiesto a mia moglie se fosse il caso di fare un saluto in italiano alla cerimonia. La sua risposta? Solo se lo fai bene. Spero di fare un po'. Gra grazie. 
spero di fare un po' di pratica con voi nei prossimi due anni. Grazie, grazie. And finally, to the airmen of the 31st Fighter Wing, it is with great, great honor that I am up here on this stage becoming your commander. Your nation asks a lot of you. NATO asks a lot of you. And you get it done every single day in very difficult conditions and in very difficult places. You figure out ways to make it happen with your ingenuity, your creativity, and your can-do attitudes. I am so very, very proud and humbled to be your commander, and I look forward to working with you, getting to know you, and leading with you over the next years. Thank you very much. Thank you, General Landrum. Now, the men and women of the 31st Fighter Wing would like to render the first salute to their new commander. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now direct your attention to the side of the stage for the renaming of the wing flagship. Ladies and gentlemen, notice the F-16, tail number 89-2009, the 31st Fighter Wing flagship. As tradition goes, the commander's name is painted on the side of the aircraft to represent his leadership of the wing. To symbolize today's change of command, dedicated crew chief, Staff Sergeant James Tamvangsa assisted by Crew Chief Senior Airman Omar Segus Liman, will remove General Seguin's name to expose that of the new commander, Brigadier General Landrum. Il capo del veivolo provvederà ora ad aggiornare il nome del comandante del 31esimo Fighter Wing sulla fusoliera dell'F-16. Thank you. See you in one week. <laughs> Thank you, Staff Sergeant Tama Vangsa. Please stand for the singing of the Air Force song and the departure of the official party. This concludes today's ceremony. We would like to thank everyone for their attendance. We ask that you remain in place until the ushers have escorted our distinguished guests to the receiving line on my right. Please join Lieutenant General Ray in welcoming General Landrum and his family immediately following the ceremony. 
The reception will be considered an indoor event. Feel free to remove your cover. Signore e signori, la cerimonia è conclusa. Grazie per averci onorato della vostra presenza. Vi invitiamo ad attendere l'uscita dei distinti ospiti ed ad unirvi al generale di squadra aerea, Timothy Ray, nel dare il benvenuto al nuovo comandante, generale di brigata aerea Lance Landrum. Il ricevimento ha subito inizio in anger.